Hey everybody, it's Dusty Martin with Corcoran Platinum Living dropping in to give you your monthly market update for the month of December 2021. So buckle up, let's go. All right, for the city of Scottsdale, our active listings are down 50.5% over this time last year, which is crazy. Um, Our sold listings are also down, but only a little bit, 6.5% over this time last year. And our median square... Uh, And our median price per square foot is up 26.3% over this time last year. That's a huge movement. Um, Keep in mind, end of November, December last year, things kind of like calmed down with like all the Rona stuff and people started to kind of just kind of pause. But then January 1st, things took off like a rocket in 2021. And I have a feeling we might be gearing up for a similar situation, just looking at kind of the pause across some of the other cities in the valley that I'm seeing. So like I said, our median sale price per square foot is still up a whole heck of a lot. 26.3% over this time last year, easily 10 times higher than a normal market. Our months of supply is down 47.1% over this time last year. We are at less than a one month supply in the city of Scottsdale. We're at 0.8, so just over three weeks of inventory. That is lightning fast for our market. Our median days on market is down 27.5% over this time last year. So right now our median days on market in the city of Scottsdale is only 29 days. That's one day less than it takes to close a loan. So keep that in mind. So then let's break it down on months of supply by price point. For the first time in months, I actually have data in every price range, which is great. That shows that things are moving, things are um, coming to market that might not otherwise have done. We and So let's just start. Like I said, we had 0.8 months of supply, meaning about three weeks, a little more in every price range. The zero to one hundred thousand dollar price range is at four months. That is literally the tipping point of where it becomes a seller's market. So it is literally officially a seller's market, but it's not quite the seller's market in some of the other price points. Our one to two hundred thousand dollar price range is actually only 0.17, so literally less than a week of supply, less than a quarter of a month. And then we get to our two hundred to three hundred thousand dollar price range here in the city of Scottsdale, and we're at 0.46, meaning less than half a month, less than two weeks of supply. And then we get to our three hundred to five hundred thousand dollar price range, and we are at 0.4 again. Like I said, much less than two weeks. And then, um, then we get to the five hundred to seven hundred thousand dollar price range, and this is where um, Scottsdale's bread and butter kind of average starts out now. And we're at 0.63 months of supply, so more than two weeks, but less than three. Like I said, that is a crazy white hot seller's market and we have maintained that level almost all year long. And then we get to the 700,000 to a million mark and we're at 0.56, so just a smidge day or two over the two week mark of inventory. And then our one to $3 million price range is at 1.11. So just over a month's worth of supply, not quite five weeks, let's say four and a half weeks or so. Then we get to the $3 million price range and that is actually a 7.57 months of supply, which is actually dancing dangerously close to a buyer's market. Part of that is interest rates ticked up a little bit and that quarter of a point or tenth of a point has a big impact when you're talking a whole lot of zeros. So keep that in mind. This time last year, that price range had a six month of supply, which was an even stable market. So not bad, but keep in mind that price point in Scottsdale is almost always traditionally a buyer's market. So when you've had several months in the year that were well inside seller's market territory, chalk it up to things kind of calming down, maybe taking a slow pause and and just um, maybe pausing a little bit, tapping the brakes. I wouldn't say that's any indication of a shift or a crash or anything like that. I just say it's people taking a breath, getting their gears. Also keep in mind, a lot of people in that price range are not necessarily going to be spending their holidays in Arizona. They're going to go wherever their family is, or they're going to travel or 
what have you. So I would expect come January when all of the high dollar events like Barrett Jackson and um, the Phoenix Open and um, the all the bowl games, when those come to town, that's when we'll see those sales pick back up again traditionally. So Keep that in mind. If you have any questions what your home might sell for in today's market, or you just want to know what's happening in your neighborhood, give me a call at 480-717-9405 or visit my website at DustyMartinRealtor.com.